Guys, in this box, I have something very, very special. It's a Louis Vuitton bag, but it's not just any Louis Vuitton bag. Oh no. This is a truly special piece, a special edition, something many of you will have never seen before and not known that it exists. I haven't seen, I haven't looked super deep, but I haven't seen any videos on this. You can find a few articles and very rarely do they come up on the pre-loved market. But somehow I snagged one and for a mind-blowing price. I'm still amazed. I can't wait to get this open and see it in person. I hope you can't wait either, so stick around and see what incredible handbag from Louis Vuitton I finally got my hands on. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods like what the bag is that I'm opening today to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. I purchased this from The Real Real. It is a pre-loved Louis Vuitton handbag. I found my opening box cutter opener thingy. Good Lord. At The Real Real, you can pay an extra $5 for what they call gift wrapping, which is a black box that they, if I remember correctly, they put a ribbon around it and they put tissue paper inside. So when I order something a little extra special, like this is, I tend to do that extra $5 gift wrapping. Although, this does not have gift wrapping in it. Interesting, interesting, upsetting. I'm gonna have to go back and see if I actually paid for that. Let me look on this little invoice here. It says status in box, but no box is included. That's upsetting the real real. It also seems to be quite smushed. Oh my gosh, okay, we're gonna find out what's going on here. Here's how it looks right now. It's in a real, real dust bag, which are cheap little throwaway dust bags. <sighs> oh my God, why did they smash it? Ah, oh, this isn't good. I hope it's okay. Um, this worries me. So real, real trashy dust bag. And inside, <sighs> why? I'm really upset that they've smashed it instead of treating it properly, stuffing it, putting it in the gift box that I paid for and shipping it in a gift box. I'm gonna take it out, unsmash it so you can see it properly. Okay, it doesn't look like it damaged it, so that's okay. Let's see. Because it's been smashed, I'm going to get some stuff and stuff it so it looks good when I show it to you because it deserves to look good. It's very special. All right, I've sorted it out. Are you ready? Because it's spectacular. This is the Louis Vuitton no way bag in the GM size in all Vachetta. Yes, you heard me right, all Vachetta. The bag is front, back, top, bottom, side to side, Vachetta. Am I crazy? Maybe. Let me tell you a little bit about these bags. My understanding is that these were special order. I don't have a clear idea of what that means. My guess is that it means that they weren't just released to the public that it was something you had to order. You couldn't just go in the store and buy it. You had to tell them, hey, I want you guys to make this bag for me. They do them in the Vachetta, or did them in the Vachetta. They did them in the Noe GM, the Speedy, I think only in the 30 size. That's the only one I ever remember having seen. The bucket bag, the little sort of oval shaped one. And as a matter of fact, let me just put a photo up here that I found that has some or all of the options that were available in all Vachetta. They were also small goods. And I've known about these bags for a few years and every once in a while I'll see one pop up on the pre-loved market. And if you search for them, particularly on places like eBay, less often on retailers like The Real Real or Fashion File. You'll be able to find them there. A lot of them are gonna come out of Japan. The understanding I have right now is that there are sort of two different lines of all Vachetta bags. One is these special orders. The other are limited edition bags that were anniversary bags released 
in Japan, only in Japan, for the anniversary. I'm guessing based on research I did previously in my Everything You Ever Wanted to Know About Damie Ben video, I'll link that below. I'm guessing that anniversary was the anniversary of an opening of a store in Japan, because that's what the Ben anniversary bags were. Those bags that are anniversary editions will be stamped somewhere on the bag that they're anniversary edition, they'll say Japan, they'll have a year on them. When you see these bags come up, because they're all Vachetta, they tend to be in not so great shape. They tend to have a lot of big noticeable stains on them. I've seen some where the staining is, you know, mostly all over the bottom of the bag, but then also creeps up the edges. It's not like you could even just hide it on the bottom. It's very noticeable. And most people wouldn't want to buy a bag like that with the kind of staining that you wouldn't be able to get out. This bag, however, now the real real generally does not have very good photography and not enough photographs, but I'm going to give you a slower spin of this. The photos on this bag, they had the front, the back, one side, the bottom, and one photo of the inside, and they all looked fantastic. I could see that there was a little bit of spotting here and there, which of course you're going to get with a Vachetta bag. It looked like it had a beautiful patina. It certainly does, but I didn't see any major staining, and my only concern was the one side that I didn't see, which was this side. That wasn't shown and you can see that there's nothing major going on there. So it looked like a fantastic bag. I can tell you that the price ranges on the pre-loved market, I'm not sure what these sold for. Actually, I did find this one article that gave a price. Let me grab that real quick. All right, so that article did list a few prices, but honestly, I'm not sure how accurate those prices were, and I'm not sure what year. Yes, I know, hold on. No, I just checked the article. I was gonna say I don't know what year these were released, and I thought the article had it, but it didn't. So I'm not sure what year they were released. I can say that in that article it said that the Speedy 30 retailed for $3,000 and keep in mind that's a special order bag and that the Petite Noe, this is the GM, so the smaller one of these was also $3,000. That would probably mean this one was $3,100, $3,200. Brand new. On the pre-loved market I found a Speedy 30 available, I think it was on Tradesy, it had bad staining big stains on the front of the bag, the side of the bag, and they wanted almost a thousand dollars for it. This bag, I saw one with stains on it, not as bad as that Speedy was, but over two thousand dollars. I saw one in excellent condition, it looked like it was probably a little better than this, a little lighter patina, and that one was over four thousand dollars. So guess what I paid? I don't know why the real real had it priced like this. I'm guessing they didn't know what they had because that happens sometimes and I feel like that's how I've gotten a lot of my really great bargains. I got this bag for $625. I know, that's amazing. I wasn't on the market for a bag. I wasn't planning to buy another luxury bag for a while. How could I pass that up? Again, I've been looking at these bags, not like I'm searching to buy one, but they've been on my radar, I've been aware of them. Every once in a while, I'll go search for one. To find one in this condition, I mean, it's beautiful, it is so rare. And then when you do find one, they're the prices I just told you. So to get this for that price, I mean, I had to. I, I just had to. If I hadn't, I would have regretted it greatly. Let me tell you now what I want to talk to you about in this video besides just revealing the bag. I, I will show you the inside in just a minute. I also want to compare it to my Noe in the monogram, just so you can see those side by side. I'll do a mod shot. I'll tell you how I plan to alter this bag. I wanna talk about the interior because it's different than I thought it was. And if you wanna look for one of these bags, you should be aware of this. I guess I also want to look this over closely because I haven't yet and I can show you any little staining or defects that I do see on it. Oh, I wanted to talk to you, that was the other thing, about the leather itself. So most of us are familiar with the Louis Vuitton Vachetta. As soon as I opened this, it was maybe slightly darker than I was expecting it to be. I think it's a little darker in person than it's coming up on camera because the lights are so bright and it's making it look a little brighter or lighter. I'll show you the stamping on this too so you know what to look for. But the leather itself, on my monogram bag, I have a video about this. I ruined the Vachetta on this bag by cleaning it with a magic eraser and also by not conditioning it before I cleaned it. I dried the leather out and I cracked it really badly along the two straps on the side, 
I cracked it all the way around the vachetta on the top. I just really did a number of damaging things to that bag. Because of that, and I haven't wanted to get rid of that bag, I still love it, but because of that I have wanted to get another Noe that's in nicer condition. And my plan had been to find another monogram one. I thought about buying a brand new one, I've thought about getting a pre-loved one. It wouldn't really matter. I just wanted a second one in nicer condition. And I've had the smaller, the petite ones, and with the drawstring closure, those don't work as well for me because the stuff that I need to fit in, it, when you close the drawstring, it just doesn't look right. So I tend to prefer this GM size. So when this one came available, I thought, well, all things considered, that's my new No Way GM. I mean, I had no other choice. I'm familiar with the Vachetta on these bags being kind of dry, delicate. And what I can say about this one, as soon as I opened up the dust bag and saw it and put my hand on it, it, this one is not dry. I don't feel like this needs any conditioning. This has aged really well. Somebody may have conditioned it, actually, I don't know, but it feels soft and smooth. Not soft like lambskin or something, but soft like not dry. It feels like a healthy leather that's in really good condition. The corners do have some rubbing wear totally normal for these bags. You're going to get wear on those hard corners because the base is pretty stiff and it's going to rub up against things. So I already knew that. That was visible in the photos on the listing. Two things I want to do to this bag that I did to this bag. I want to add a slider pull, which I'll get off. Probably dress up your purse and I have them linked below with a discount code in case you are interested in anything there. They have all kinds of wonderful things for your handbags but I'll get some kind of slide. This one with the monogram I got off Etsy and it's no longer available, so I can't link that for you. People always ask about that. But I'll get a slide and then I will also get one of these snap hook clips, well, two of them, because I need one for each side. The way Louis Vuitton connects the strap to the bag is it's just the leather looped through the loop and it's buckled. And if you want to remove the strap to add a longer crossbody strap or a shorter top handle strap, which you could certainly do, or if you just want to remove it for storage, because when it hangs, it, it hangs kind of sideways and over time that could damage the leather some. It's easier to have these hooks attached so you can just take the strap off and lay it flat perhaps or switch it out more easily. While we're talking about that monogram bag, let me go ahead and show them to you side by side. There they are. Aren't they beautiful? You can see that the Vachetta bag is a little lighter patina than my monogram bag. I'm not sure what year this Vachetta one is from, so I need to look at the date code on that. Let me find it and do that right now. A lot of people, when they get a Noe bag, they wonder if it might be inauthentic because they can't find the date code. It's just because the date code's in a really weird place. I've never seen it in this place on another Louis Vuitton bag before. Where the strap is attached, that leather piece that goes down the side of the bag, right here, right inside here, and you won't be able to see it, the date code is printed on that leather. It's imprinted there. All right, I put this under the magnifying glass. The date code is AR0010. That means AR it was made in France, and then the rest of it means it was made in January in the year 2000. 22 year old bag here, just had her 22nd birthday, and looks incredible. I mean, probably looks better than I did at 22. Now talking about the leather some more, there is, and again, I don't know if this will come up well on camera, but there is some wrinkling here. That's totally normal. There's no major staining at all. There are a few tiny spots, a few little wrinkle spots. That's all I'm seeing. Oh, there is one scratch. Is it a scratch or is it like a mark, a pen mark? I don't know. I don't know if it'll come across, but right here, there's a scratch. That's on the back of the bag, so nobody's gonna see it. And I mean, that's pretty much it. There's a little staining on the bottom, but you can see it there. Um, I don't care that much about the bottom, and it's not bad at all. Oh, and I didn't show you, I forgot. It came with the original dust bag, so that's lovely. Nice bonus especially since I didn't get my box that I paid for. The other thing I wanna show you about the outside of the bag, and then we'll look at the inside, is you can see right there, it has the LV logo. That is the only place that you see the LV logo on the bag. It does have, right down here, it says made in France, stamped onto the bag. And then on the other side in the same spot, it says Louis Vuitton, stamped onto the bag. There's no color on that. On the brass hardware, it says Louis Vuitton on each of those grommets. And now let's look at the inside. Just one more thing I would say about the outside, and this is also the case with my other Noe GM, is that when you open the inside, 
when you open the opening, there's not much left of these straps where it seems like they can just fly away into the inside of your bag. That's one of the reasons I want a slide on it. Oh, and if you don't know, the Noe GM was designed to hold five bottles of champagne, one on each corner, so four, and then the fifth upside down in the middle. That's one of the reasons I purchased the monogram bag in the first place, and one of the reasons I love these bags so much. And they are super, super sturdy because they're made to hold that weight. The strap is very thick, it's comfortable, the bottom is reinforced. So if you need something that will be really sturdy and hold a lot of stuff and can handle a lot of heavy stuff, the Noe is your bag. Here's the inside. And I always thought, having only seen photographs, that the inside was the suede on the other side of the vachetta. That is not the case. The inside is actually lined in that, a lot of people call it micro suede, but Alcantara? I don't know exactly, but it is actually a lined bag. It, it's lined with that fabric. It has a lining. The lining is not attached. I can pull it out so you can actually... That's really good. I'm glad that it's not because... There you go. That allows you... I'm going to spin this so you can see what the lining looks like and, and the condition of it. Um, that allows you to clean the inside of the bag more easily and not worry about damaging the outside so much when you're trying to clean it. Um, this would allow you to get the dust and wipe it down and all that. There are a few more marks and stains on the inside of the bag than I thought there were based on the one photo that the Real Real had. Pen marks, a couple of stains there, a few other stains. I knew that there was some staining inside the bag, but it didn't look terrible. I was much more concerned about the vachetta on the outside than I was about the lining. So I am good with that. It is one big open hole. There is no organization. There are no pockets in this bag. The one thing that it does have is that little d-ring attached right there and the little metal piece has an lv imprinted in it when you're closing these bags and i don't know if it's like this on the newer noe bags but you have to pull really hard to actually close it and it feels like you're gonna snap the vachetta drawstring i actually did that on my monogram bag snapped it let me tell you don't worry about snapping it because there are places like dress up your purse where you can buy more of those strings. They're easily replaceable and they're not expensive. Don't worry about it. You may even buy one to have as a spare just in case you ever do snap it. I know a lot of people would never consider a bag like this because they're afraid of the vachetta. And of course I had the same concern, but seeing this now, I would say somebody else has already done all the hard work for me. This has a beautiful patina. It's got that, that nice shimmer, that shimmer the right word, that Vachetta is supposed to have as it ages. So if you like this bag and you can find it in fantastic condition and a price you're willing to pay, I'd say go for it. I don't feel like I'd be afraid to carry this bag. Now I wouldn't knowingly take it out on a day when it's raining or you have bad weather like that. I would be careful in that sense as I am with all of my bags that have Vachetta, but I wouldn't avoid buying it just because it's Vachetta. It's really beautiful and I think the color would go beautifully with just about any outfit. I just found another stamp on it that I forgot about. On the strap, on the top of the strap, right in the middle, it's stamped Louis Vuitton Paris. On the back, right under that strap, it's stamped Made in France. And here's how it looks on my shoulder. There you go, beautiful bag. I find these bags very comfortable because the strap is so thick, that helps it be comfortable. And it does stick out from your body because it has that wide base and it's not very flexible. Like you can squish it, but it's meant to be, no, you can't, well, you can squish it a little bit, but it's meant to be a structured base because it was made to be a wine bag, a champagne holder. But because it tapers in at the top, it's comfortable to have your arm there and it feels good. Well, unless I've forgotten something, I think that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.